the truth of the matter is that uh, I never met uh, President uh, Kabila. I've not met him before. Uh, we've not talked uh, before. It is clear the happenings of the last six days has taken a toll on him. A visibly exhausted Dr. Neva Smumba has regretted being in the Democratic Republic of Congo during such a decisive period. If I was still in Congo and charged with allegations uh, that were leveled against me, uh, it would have been treasonous. And treason, punishment is death. And when I asked about the charges he was slapped with in that country, this was his answer. I'll, I have to give to, the, to you later on okay. in terms of, of the allegations. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mumba also raised some serious accusations. But I think our enemies, some of our enemies took advantage of that and created stories uh, with the intention of injuring my in integrity and my dignity and also injuring my possibility of running for president next year. Um, by lying to investigative wins uh, that I was talking to certain individuals that were totally opposed to the government of the day and uh, therefore uh, I needed to be investigated. But he is grateful to government. Yes, I went on a strike, not hunger strike, on a fast. Um, and my decision was I'm not going to eat until my government comes to rescue me. And uh, if it the government, if it would have taken the government 30 days, 40 days, I would still have gone on to the fast because I wanted to be sure that my government uh, gets involved in this matter. Lillian Kalaba, ZNBC News, Kitwe. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.